BCTV's Roland Boyden here to welcome you back to another edition of our weekly video calendar released each Thursday at youtube.com slash TV and brattleborotv.org where I'll mention that making sure annotations are turned on in the bottom right corner of your YouTube video viewer We'll turn each of the buttons behind me into a clickable link, which will take you to an official organizer website where you can get all the where's and when's, all the details uh, to help you get involved in the area's uh, slew of upcoming events. We're gonna start uh, with this here Thursday, October 3rd, and run all the way through Monday the 7th. We'll even squeak ahead a little to next Wednesday, October 9th, to talk BCTV's annual meeting, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start with this here today, Thursday, October 3rd. Brattleboro Literary Festival has come to town. It's already going on and it'll run all the way till Sunday. It's jam-packed full of uh, author talks, events all around the area, partnership events and the like. You can find a full schedule and uh, some summaries on uh, a whole bevy of authors, which include the likes of Amy Brill and Tina Chang uh, on their website, or take a look at our spotlight video of clips from last year's festival right now. Let's roll. You wake the dead. You make Abraham Lincoln and Jackie Robinson and Louis Armstrong come alive. Who do you think you're really trying to wake up? Previous year's literary festivals may have boasted the likes of Ken Burns, but this year's festivities have a good shot at topping the previous 11 years of the now legendary gathering of Pulitzer, Newbery, and Caldecott honored authors. Does that pick look happy? BCTV will be out gathering a crisp high definition video of this year's 2013 Lit Fest as well, so keep an eye peeled for that in the coming weeks on BCTV Channel 8 and of course our YouTube channel. Uh, as mentioned, BrattleboroTV.org uh, has all the links to that or YouTube.com slash BrattleboroTV. See how many times I say that in this year event. Let's move on now. We'll uh, talk about the weekend's upcoming events in a moment, but first, it's Gallery Walk this Friday. Uh, and not only does that pack the region with folks this time of year as the Fall Foliage First Friday uh, Fiesta continues. Yeah, that almost worked. Uh, but it's also worth mentioning that Gallery Walk has its own official website and that is a clickable link. So if you want to find out how best to get you friends or your family and or all of them involved uh, in the area's events, just take a click here. All right, moving on. Saturday, October 5th. We'll talk button up Vermont in a moment, but there's actually a source to see cleanup from the Connecticut River Watershed Council tucked behind here as it happens both Saturday and Sunday, this October 5th and 6th. Uh, this is part of the region's efforts to clean up the Wantastiket Mountain, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont section of the Connecticut River. Now, uh, source to see does follow the river all the way down to the Atlantic through several New England states. But if you wanna do your part to help keep uh, the river clean and safe in this region, you can take a look at video from last year, and we'll have the links to find out more on the side. Let's roll it. The Source to Sea Cleanup is a one-day coordinated event uh, cleanup of the Connecticut River and its tributaries in all four states of the watershed, so Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. Thousands of volunteers all across the watershed will spread out to clean the riverbanks and trails abutting the rivers and um, help out the community. All right, now, as promised, on to Button Up Vermont, this statewide event uh, aimed at helping Vermonters keep their homes buttoned up, uh, as proper insulation can be a key component in keeping costs and energy consumption down, uh, is rolled out this Saturday, October 5th, with a series of workshops. Here's uh, Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin talking about the importance of the event and how to get involved, find out more, and all that good stuff. Let's roll it. Button Up Day is October 5th. As you know, Vermont's done an extraordinary job over the years figuring out how to do electric energy efficiency, using less electricity to get us farther and to reduce our bills. Next up, it's Down Syndrome Awareness Month here in October, and the annual Buddy Walk is set to kick off in our region. Part of a nationwide event that's been running since 1995 all the way through last year when it raised 11.5 million dollars uh, across the nation now uh, for members of meeting waters ymca and their why aspire program uh, like alums kayla nicholson getting involved in the buddy walk is one of the best things you can do let's hear her clip uh, i want to if i you to the the bubble of the farm, the worker team. It will be a lot of fun. Oh, there will be games, buses, music, and It will be a lot of fun, and I hope you will come. 
Well, that just about does it for our look at the weekend here on BCTV's video calendar. Thanks for checking in. But before I let you go, I'll just uh, point you once more in the direction of this here Wednesday, October 9th button where it says, come see BCTV's new look, part of our annual members meeting for 2013. Should be a rockin' good time as we spend 6 to 8 p.m. here in our 230 Main Street downtown studios, just north of the library on Main Street, uh, taking a look at a year's worth of video here on BCTV, which uh, will include uh, an award ceremony for our hardworking video producers. We'll also get a montage of all of last year's video and plenty more. So be sure to check in with that as well. It is a clickable link like all these, so take a look. In the meantime, we'll be back uh, with another edition next Thursday, so be sure to head to youtube.com slash TV and subscribe there if you want to be notified on all the BCTV video uploads that go up during the week. And of course, uh, for those of you loyal to Comcast Cable Channel 8, we'll be back this Friday, 5.45 p.m. on BCTV Channel 8 to uh, do another full 15-minute broadcast. In the meantime, thanks for checking in. See you next week.